hey you guys welcome back to another vlog so it is a beautiful crisp chilly day and i am in the mood to start prepping for i guess like the fall weather do the transition from the summery fresh decor to some pumpkins some haystacks things like that um it's been quite busy here at home i've been working a lot a lot of working so today i had a day off to basically pick things up around the house i've been doing laundry non-stop and i have about an hour before i have to pick up the boys from school so i thought i would go to a local um what are they called They're not nurseries but like a landscaping um place right by my house they sell really beautiful mums and pumpkins and things like that so i'm going to run over there and see if I can pick out a couple things to put out on the front porch and um, around the garage and things like that. I was gonna say where's my little pumpkin but here she is. Look at her ratchet hair. Oh my goodness, you look so ratchet. Hi. Do you wanna come with me? Do you wanna come with me? Via. Yeah. She's coming. She's coming. Your hair is just as ratchet as your mom's. So yeah, I'm gonna go put her in her little room and get the show on the road. There are definitely quite a few options, which is nice. They have different varieties of pumpkins and like um, dried corn or whatever that's called. The only issue is I'm on a rental and I don't have that much space in the back. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit the mums and the pumpkins. So maybe I will just grab pumpkins today. These are some <laughs> huge pumpkins. Here are like normal big pumpkins. These are like monster sizes. So let me see. These are smaller mums. Um, there were some bigger ones up here, but I think that half of them are red. It's hard to see because they haven't like bloomed. So let me go ask the guy what color these are. So I kind of love these, the fairy tale ones. I did these last year, but these are much bigger than the ones that I had. So I'm thinking to maybe do two of them and stack them on either side and maybe squeeze a white one on top. So I grabbed the pumpkins. I got four pumpkins and they were almost 50 bucks. They better be made out of freaking gold and have like gems inside it's so expensive i wonder if produce junction would have been that much cheaper how can i set you guys up all right so i got two white flat ones for stacking oh they're heavy and then oh my gosh and then two of these which equal to be 60 pounds which is wild well, that means they're 30 pounds a pop. Jeez. I'm like bending over. There's people behind in their cars. And I'm showing them my butt. All right, you little fat, expensive pumpkins. You guys better last me at least a full month. All right, it's me again. Um, so yeah, I loaded up the pumpkins. I did not have room for mums, nor did I have enough cash on me for mums because this place is an all cash place, which I should have figured, but whatever. Anyways. Um, 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 I have literally 13 minutes <laughs> to kill, so I just pulled up to Home Goods. 13 minutes is enough time to do damage at Home Goods, so I'm gonna see if I can find some like knickknacks and fall inspired decor. I know I have a couple things in my basement that I that sounds so creepy in my basement, um, that I have accumulated over the last couple years some like velvet pumpkins. Um, I don't even know, I have no idea what I have. I know I have some velvet ones. Um, so yeah, I'll take them out of storage today, but I thought I'd run in here and see if there is something cute and worth buying. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll have to send that us to get the white mums. At this point, I might not get white mums. I'm okay with like the deep burgundy ones that they have. I think that's a nice subtle color I don't want anything too like the yellow I did before it was just way too much for my front porch with the pumpkins and then the um 
orange ones are too much too, at least for me. I really like the white ones. They're hard to come across and they match like any shades of pumpkins that you get. So I'm just saying pumpkins way too much. All right, you guys, <laughs> I'm gonna go inside. So I'm kind of not loving anything here. It looks like they are just getting rid of loose pieces from previous stores. Um, I do like this hydrangea bowl. It's 80 bucks though. It's not that big either. I would need something next to it. Um, so that's a maybe, but I do like the muted hydrangea on top. It's coming off very yellow in the video, but it's more like muted green cream. So I will think about that. And then all this is like Halloween grungy. So there's really not an option this year. This is kind of cute and different. All right, you guys. So here is what I bought at Home Goods. I will quickly go through all the different um, little pieces. So first is this tray. So since our island is so long, I struggle with keeping like a nice centerpiece. Nothing fits right. Um, right now I have these two like urn looking things and I'm still not done with the setup. This is just temporary, but I wanted to find like a basket eventually or something to hold these. But for the fall, they're going to be removed and I'm going to put this long wooden um, tray. It's coming off a little bit more red on camera, but more of like this medium brown shade. It was $29.99, so I think that's a great price considering how big it is. And basically my plan is to stack things across it, fall inspired, and see how that goes. When I walked into Home Goods, I basically came without a plan. I saw this first and I kind of got inspired to fill it up with something. And then I saw this. This is a very substantial size uh, with the faux hydrangea. I love that it's white and that it would match my counters. Um, this would be a seasonal piece. And what sucks is that it was more than I wanted to pay. It was $80. Uh, I know that faux flowers are expensive, um, but it just sucks because I'm not gonna have this out year round. It's definitely a little too yellow for an everyday look, but I think for the fall, this is super, super pretty. And with that, I would put this candle. I just like the like, creamy neutral brown vibes here. And it actually smells really, really nice. And it's got like the three little wicks. It smells very, let me see, fall. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it doesn't smell fall. It just smells like a very masculine. And I think that's super appropriate for the fall time. Now, these are just like knickknacks that I picked up that I needed. I wanted some liners for my cupcake tray slash muffin tray. thought these were adorable. Uh, these were $3.99. And then these things are so pretty to me. I could not pass them up. It has nothing to do with what I came in for, but I do want to put them upstairs in my bathroom. I also have like a marble um, platter that I would put these into. I would put like Q-tips in this one and then my cotton balls and cotton pads in this one. And I thought they were very affordable, $12.99. It just gives like that old Hollywood look. And this was $7.99. So yeah, I thought this was adorable together. But anyway, then I bought this pumpkin. Now, let me just um, explain. I don't like it with this. I don't think this goes. This is a blush pink and it's got that glass look. Um, it was $12.99, so it was pretty affordable. But I do think that it would look cute either on the mantle over there or take that blue vase out. I have some like blush tones and just lay this on top of one of the books just to kind of spice up that room. But we will see. This is the only thing I wasn't sure about. And then Taras had brought me this up from the basement. So my vision was to do this dark burgundy pumpkin here. Oh wow. I didn't realize how big it was. It's a big fatty with this and then this candle. So let me see if I like that. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it. Um, I feel like I need something small still behind here, a little bit higher. I don't know, but I do like the color um, combo. This has like a gold top. I can switch it up and maybe put this one, but that looks kind of more, uh, actually that looks cute too. This one's just a little bit more sad. He's a sad guy. 
I don't mind that color combo either. It would be nice if I could fit both of these on and just have it like super vintage look, but I don't think that's gonna fit. These pumpkins I just took out, they're just like cheapies from Target for like five years ago. And there's this guy. That's actually kind of cute. Maybe I like that one the best because it's higher, it's structured. This one felt like it was just falling off. That's actually kind of cute. And then I think I have some other mini ones from Target. Let me go run and see if that would work as well. I bought these from like the dollar section at Target. I think they were a dollar or three bucks each, a dollar each. So maybe if I kind of filled up the space, that's kind of cute. Or am I just losing it? I'm trying to do like a different vibe this year. Usually I just lay the pumpkins in the middle and call it a day. But these aren't horrible either. Maybe I'll like <laughs> plop him on there. I think I'm going to play around with that, but I kind of don't mind that vibe. I do think that these should be closer together instead of like that separation in the middle. So I'm going to try to play around with that and maybe fill it a little bit on the sides and see how that looks. I'm definitely going to have to play around with this layout. I'm not sure what I love yet, but I will post it on my Instagram what I come up with in the end. So yeah, get a check out now. I have dinner on the stove and we're gonna have some family time before the kids have to go to bed. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.